Uh, I suppose there is an important video that I still owe uh, in respect to MK Ultra, and it's going to be that video that's going to be dedicated to the British Royals who got me into this. In particular, I am referring to the video which I have titled uh, article which related video related the article which I titled uh, Father Maha Bailangakorn and her family traumatized me with Thai community in respect to her heart transplant issue in 2018. What is the heart transplant, folks? Heart transplant, best of what I can get is this stuff here. It gives a patient a chance, uh, a person obviously with a heart problem, a chance to, well, they are saying statistically half of the people receive a heart transplant surgery, they get to leave 11 years after the transplant surgery. In uh, Princess Bairakiti Abba, uh, that would be, I think, a tragedy. Just 11 years, really sad stuff. She's 44 years old. This here with what appears is a tear in her eye is uh, her sister. This is not even she. You know, we're going to put this one down here and I'm going to open it up. Really unusual approach of Google. And also something I was taught that I should pay attention to. Uh, it's like, see right there, is if she would have a tear here. And the eyes are really, really watery. It's kind of touchy, isn't it? Well, I think after I give you the real account about just this portion of MK Ultra with these people here, whom I got to, I'm not gonna say I got to know, but to whom I was assigned to, like a cattle, like a piece of, uh, I don't know, like a pencil, whatever, uh, at age five. Um, I think you're going to have a second thought about all those tears and watery eyes and all that stuff. I personally am angry, even about wasting time on a video like this. Technology, however, is always the same with its people. It's always the same thing. The technology is always the same, and I and I explain in MK Ultra, it's always was the same thing. It was always the same thing. You get to be terrorized, traumatized, death threats what you get okay I don't know whether I I did I did explain this here I did not explain I don't know anymore where I explained what but uh, it pertains to this video here okay what happens is I didn't get lured. You know, this is the for the Thailand, for the Thai community, Thailand, you know, Thailand. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like the culture itself. I have a problem with this culture. You know, it's Thailand, Thailand. I have a problem with you. 
the problem is that you you're fake you're hypocrites you love to pretend you're heinous you're a heinous culture you're a heinous people you have a tendency to pretend to be godly you know to praise uh, to be a believer is to be spiritual. I think that you're not spiritual. I think that you are. I think you're playing your fucking evil. I think. Uh, in 2018, I was traumatized with the issue that is the heart for. A princess by Rikiti Abba is necessary and needed. And we have a heart transplant donor, which he doesn't even know, or she doesn't even know is a heart transplant donor. Uh, and all this stuff was paved with severe sleep deprivation, with the torture, terror. This is whom. A British royals have chosen to be my godfather. It's her father, Maha, who was involved, as I stated, through the Moscow. The Soviets wanted to earn some money with it. Price. And they both committed to something that never belonged to them. I am not British, I'm not Russian. And they wanted to make a sale. And I suppose they made a hell of a sale. Huh. Uh, I don't want to go too much uh, into this evil and uh, discuss it. This, this is this is evil that is unprecedented. To, to me, it's just uh, a waste of time to discuss these issues. But this is to concern Thai community, Thailand, you know, the most. You know, basically. When I was faced up with an issue in Thailand, when I was hijacked again to Thailand and terrorized, what to do, what to do, and it was the father, Maha, King Maha, help me, will you help me this, will you help me that, we have this donor and this, number. What? So, but I don't understand what is the deal, we have to save her, the heart, you don't know this and that, and I was like, What the fuck this got to do with me? Basically, in the first place, what the hell this shit got to do with me? What the fuck was my relation with the Thailand? What is my relation to the Thailand? What? My only relation to the Thailand is, was, as entire Thailand knows, was a torture I endured in Thailand, based on which Thailand was legible for Russian oil, whatever discounts, trade with... Russian partners, British royals, basically gangster stuff, mafia stuff related. Everything was torture, that's all it was. That's the only relation there ever was between me and Thailand. There never was any, was there like any other relationship? Not that I would know of. I don't know about any other. Human trafficking is a human trafficking. Torture is a torture. And this was more than torture. It was worse. So, what this shit had to do with me? Me being hijacked by somebody who stated me when I was a child. Bariki Diaba is past seven years younger than myself. At age seven, that he needs to go and impregnate this lady in Thailand, where he would have me. He would he would take me like during MK Ultra, whatever. Where for every important event, when they assign you these people, you had to be present to see what the fuck is going on. That's how he goes under MK Ultra. 
that he's going to make me a wife. And so it was a wife, hell of a wife. I remember some child growing up. I possibly could not relate in absolutely any ways. Then this child grew up and I started to pay more and more attention to it as a grown up man. Finally, I immigrated to the United States of America in 1995. In 1995, I was 23 years old. I think I was 23 years old. And uh, Bayrek Idiyab, I suppose, was uh, 16 years old. They literally proposed me inside of this house with Putin, with the Germans, with everybody that was inside that traveled from the U.S., had me hijacked, delivered from the U.S. into this house. If this is, if you, if you're committed, this is, this is going to be your wife and this and that. It was a good looking young girl. These people were royals. I had no problem with it. She, more important over, had no problem with it. She was 16 years old, obviously. They postponed, which I don't know how the laws are working, but this stuff happened under MK Ultra. I was 23, she was 16. She went on to study. Received her degree somewhere halfway at age 20. She got her driver license, I think, in 1990, 1998 or 99, I don't know. Um, Got a driver license. I, I started to get tired of it because I wanted to have, uh, there were many other females that were interested in it. So I was young, there was many other females interested in it. And uh, she figured out, it's like a normal thing, like a young, young woman, young girl, uh, got her car and got really busy driving around with her mother. All right. Uh, then she figured out that uh, I'm a big guy, that I'm too big for her. Uh, if I even realize how small that she is and all kinds of stuff like this. And uh, got involved with some other guy over there at university where she studied in Europe. I really didn't feel like being fucking around anymore around this stuff. Uh, I don't think that she wanted to be around me absolutely anywhere. Years went by, and it was like evil that stalked you, whatever the fuck you went. No female was allowed to approach anywhere near. This was nothing new. No female was allowed already to approach earlier. It's like a fucking evil that would trace you, stalk you, whatever the fuck you would go do. Evil as hell. <laughs> there is, this is just uh, the rest of the story, whatever went on, it doesn't matter. I, mean, I, I explain everything about this evil. The point here is that I had a Thai community getting in my face because they fucked me on two with several issues. One issue they fucked me with was trauma. Uh, they caused me by giving a full approval and, I don't know, suggesting 
to some family that they should give whomever to be a heart donor, this and that, asking me if this is the right thing to do and so on, or morally really interrogate me if it's the right thing to donate the organ, not to donate, basically. Basically grab the person and throw it on a fucking stretcher and just basically rip the heart out and give it to the princess by Ricky the Alba. This is how it works during MK Ultra. Well, I was just interested in, in two things. Basically, one thing was what I want to ask these people is this, not people, but first, king, now king, Vairalinga Korn, Maha Vairalinga Korn. Are you a king? Yes. Okay. Then I ask people, is this your king? Yes. Is this your princess? Yes. Okay. Do it. Do it. Do, do this thing. Take this person and this and uh, get over with it. Get her whatever she needs and that's it. And supposedly that, that was like a very, very great assistance to uh, a king, a father, Maha Fire and Ginga Korn. Uh, then I was delivered to Britain and commanded in this by Princess Elizabeth. If I know what I did, and I said, yes, of course I didn't know. And here's again, Andrew and Charles, they were laughing. Uh, you, you did good. Yeah, yeah. I was asking, but what? I mean, I did the right thing or what? And it was like, yeah, you did very good. Yeah, you did good. Well, the thing is, it was choice of my own I had made. Later on, I was, the news came out, the Slovenian side was preaching me what, what a beast I am, what the fuck I have done this time. This is the way it went. It was all, always, if you are drugged up, it doesn't make any difference because you're liable, you're guilty for absolutely everything in the eyes of people. You have a moral police from United Nations who was not only from Slovenia. You did this, and that's the organ trafficking, and it was fine with you and you did this you did this kind of stuff you did this kind of stuff okay you did this kind of stuff well you know the thing is that we don't have united nations we we have a we have a real problem with this united nations and we have a problem with the interpol obviously we have a problem with international police with police authority enormous amount of problem you wouldn't have i wouldn't lose 50 years being drugged up, hijacked, trafficked, poisoned, and beyond. If it wouldn't be like this, wasted basically having my life stolen on stuff that you guys are fucking preaching is against the law, you know, how it should be, and you make it documentaries and you lie to people when your documentaries and talk bullshit. You talk garbage. In other words, you are promoting crime, corruption, criminality, genocide. The one who keeps genocide alive. That's a British throne. I served for that purpose for the last 50 years. To the British, to the Soviets, they keep the genocide going. It's like eternal uh, light that keeps burning. Candle, basically. After me, it's going to be against somebody else. They're going to get, and they're going to fuck the same way like they did to me. They're going to rip somebody else apart steal somebody else's life and it's gonna it's gonna go because they need this stuff it's just something that helps burning that flame of death a life that's all there is because without that flame a lot of deals would not be possible it would look much more suspicious every issue like this contributes a lot toward uh, ruin toward the wreck of this world and the governments love this stuff because they have to interact with interact. corruption is an excellent tool whatever is not accessible also for many special people interests crazy minds insane 
sick minds become successful. There is elites, after all, in every country, everywhere, in every system around the world. I got a moral lesson at the United Nations. I was taught how, uh, basically, you know, that this is just totally, but this is not so unusual because I did all kinds of deals. I brokered drugs. I brokered Ukrainian prostitutes. I brokered, uh, I brokered people. I did, I did stuff. I have found myself on these BBC documentaries um, we had as much to do with it as being drugged up basically and hijacked, taken for a ride, basically, that's all there is to it. But that's what MK Ultra prescribes you, places you into a category of because you're guilt, you're 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 then. By the moral police, by these human rights organizations, by all kinds of people, including, of course, police and so on, that how wrong this is and this and that, even they, they fucking enforce this stuff. Well, it's 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 when it comes to Thailand, you know, Thailand, Thailand, you know. Well, I'm not Thailandese, you yeah. know. The thing is, I'm not British. The thing is that I'm not the one to decide about Thailand. You understand me? You, the people of Thailand, you are the one who live in a monarchy, right? Am I correct? You are the one who have a king, and you have a queen, and you have a princesses, right? Is it like that? Yeah? It's your way of life, isn't it? It's your choice. It's monarchy, you know, you have a special people, so you come closer to the trading table, and you get more interest, right? You like that stuff? It's your way of life, right? I am not, I'm not Thailandese. I, I have American citizenship, and I'm native here, from Slovenia. That's all I am. And it works for me. Whichever way, it doesn't matter. Why the fuck to ask me if it's okay to do something like this? I mean, I want to ask you, because I know I made a proper decision. Because all I, all I asked was two questions. Are you a king? Yes. Is this a princess, a king? Is this a real princess? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay, then do it. Well, what the fuck were you asking me this for? Who made the choice to live in a monarchy? I mean, why the fuck are you pushing your dementia, your clownery shit to the rest of the world? I didn't come to Thailand. I didn't even go to Thailand. I was hijacked to Thailand. I didn't given a choice to go to Thailand. If I was given a choice, probably I never would even go to Thailand. So what exactly the fuck are you asking me if it's okay, something like this? If this is your princess and this is your king, what the fuck are you? You are their property as a Thailandese, aren't you? You Thai people are a property. You are a property of the king and of the queen and of these princesses, your fucking pencils. Yes or no? Yes, you are. Yes, the fuck you are. Of course you are. You choose this kind of dementia. This is the fucking dementia. You made choice too. You are there to this shit personally. You don't even, you shouldn't even be inside of the United Nations. Personally, I would have you leave the United Nations because I think that you are, I don't think that you're fucking normal. I think that you are sick people, sick. And you're pushing that sick shit that you endure 
for your dear king and for your dear princess and queen and all that and to the rest of the world. You're not the only one. The British also have, they have imperial family, they have these royals that are more related to the gangster laws. They're more related to the family, the royal family to, in Thailand. I should say their criminal ways than to the British way of life. No fucking way. But let's say British laws. I don't know. Is it such a thing like uh, British constitution? I have no idea. Probably it is. Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? If you have this shit, yeah, we'll run this dementia. Don't ask other people if it's okay. If it's okay. You are the one, you sold your, your souls, yourself, to the devil. You place your lives in their hands, basically. You're, you're said, you are their property, aren't you? That's what the fuck you are? Okay, don't expect this from other people from around the world. To go on and say, okay, this is a dear king, dear whatever from Thailand or from Brit here, I fucking sign you a title. To me, willing to be less than a slave, Sebastian, suck, 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 here, have it. Don't expect this shit. This is your choice. If you're Thailandese, this shouldn't be any fucking problem for you. You should be, in fact, in line. You should line yourself up in front of this fucking castle you have in Bangkok. And you should actually put yourself like on a volunteer list. They would examine these doctors over there and select whomever is like in the best health possible. And so that you could die as a personal property, good property as you are from your Thai royals, from Thailand, Thai royals. Yeah? Yes? Yes. Fuck yes. Like I said, you should not even be inside of the United Nations. You don't deserve to be in the United Nations. United Nations, this is reserved for the people, for the nations that crave toward the freedom, toward the rights, toward the human dignity, human rights, basically human existence. Not to become a property of few, swinery like this. It's worse than a slave certificate. I taste it on my skin. I know what it is. I've seen it. I tested it on my skin. I'm not even British. I'm not even Thailandese. I was hijacked, used for these purposes. Okay? So I suppose that I just read this article here. This man was involved also in MK Ultra. This man here that you see. Does it live in the United States? In fact, what is it? New York and even Miami, suburban New York and Florida. New York and Florida. Uh, and return to have returned to Greece after he was diagnosed with a terminal cancer. He was given just months to leave, and he lived for another three decades. But another 30 years is where he lived in Greece, and he was, he was diagnosed as a terminal cancer patient in his 60s, basically in six, when he was 66 years old. And he was given six to nine months to live when he was 66. Then he lived another 30 years. That's pretty damn good. This article was also involved in MK Ultra. And so what I want to say to you today, is this the article that ends here? Yeah. It, it says here, it says that where you leave at can impact your longevity. Where you leave it, it can impact your longevity. Okay, that's 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 what they say. Where you live at, well, 
I think the Thai princess, Pyrekiti Abba, this is actually she. This is the one right there. She made herself look really big at the United Nations. Um, yeah, she is here with her father. This is the picture where I was suggested that money is more important to me than she, which is like really crazy stuff, such a hypocrisy. It is unbelievable. You can see her with a Kim Jong-un from United Nations. I think she is a quite uh, commanding person, uh, an individual. I really do think she is. And since she is from Thailand and she is a princess, uh, let's hope her all the best that she will leave for a very long time to come. Beautiful like this, famous in the United Nations, as though they also realize it's such a big person that she had made. This would be a big loss for Thailand, but as I stated, Thailand, in my opinion, should not even be inside of the United Nations. Uh, she stated me that if I would not marry her, my years, my life, is numbered, numbered out. Uh, Pai Princess was the one who indicated, uh, stated me that I have pancreatic cancer. Uh, <laughs> whatever they did, I do not know, but it was a lot of bad stuff they have done to me. And yeah, if I would not marry her, that my life would be shorter and that kind of issues, uh, pretty damn nasty stuff. In fact, that they pressured on me that from the donors, the organs are not even half as good as from the people that they get and uh, I suppose rip their organs out. Then they award their family, so whatever it is they do. And that I too would have to do something like this. So, um, It's another one with a really special clothing she is using. I think she is a little drama queen too. If you choose to live like a slave, This is your fucking problem. But for you as a slave to enforce your slavery, contamination, basically contaminate other nations and other people with it. Now, that's a whole different story. If I would be treated in a different way, in a different light, by these royals, whether that be from Dutch, or from British, or from Thai, or from Norwegian, or from Swedish, or Spanish, uh, even German royalties and all kinds of royalties from around the world, I would see things different. Uh, but I was not. I was mistreated. I was tortured. 
and it doesn't even matter with whom I was mistreated, I was tortured, when you, with so much power, have done absolutely nothing to assist, to help, and got instead involved in torture yourself. You tortured, you got heavily involved in it, even if, even if it would be somebody else that would be liable, guilty for it, but you were the one who enforced finance this stuff anyways. But even if there would be somebody else, it's not that you have done lousy job, but you have done absolutely everything possible for me to fail in this life. So, you know, it's your choice, people, whatever it is that you are, but don't try to be nasty and push choice like this to other people down the throat. I am in shit, not because of the people here, but I'm in shit because of what my grandfather have fought, because of what my grandmother fought, single grandfather and single grandmother, grandmother single on my mother's side, single grandfather on my father's side, both in World War II resistance, with both families involved in World War II resistance, fought for United Nations to exist. And for me to get in return the feedback like this, that this basically is what I get from United Nations, basically nothing other than Al Capone, basically Gambino, organized crime, like on a like on a highest level, that just basically enforcing something like what are you gonna fucking leave like this or it's gonna be like that does not work for me. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Again, this video pertains to Thailand in both of these cases, and in this case here, and in this case here. And of course, the United Nations, which all their representatives were involved. It's not good. This stuff is not good and should be stern warning for humanity that humanity is going uh, in a very, very wrong direction. This is not a good stuff.